Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have um, a special project to share with you. Special in that I'm, I'm in love with it. <laughs> and um, also it is my first cinch journal. So that's super exciting. Um, I've had the um, We Are Memory Keepers um, cinch machine uh, for, oh, I don't know, nine months now. And this is the first time I've successfully used it. I tried to um, make a Christmas journal with it, but I didn't really read the instructions first and I completely messed it up. So, <laughs> so that didn't, um, yeah, that didn't go well. But this time it worked and I'm super excited about it. Um, this is also a project um, showcasing quite a few of the lovely Nikki at Musings by Nikki's kits. Um, I will list all of the links um, to them in the description box below, and I'll also link to her YouTube channel. Um, but I'll just quickly um, tell you the, the kits that I used or show you. Um, I used her new Dainty Roses journal kit. Um, I used her In Full Bloom uh, journal kit. And then I also used her Peculiar Nature Word Cards, um, some of her Cheerful Flowers postage stamps, and then her Rustic Lovely Florals Chai Level Tag. I think that is all of them uh, that I used. I was hoping, <laughs> I should just know by now, but I was hoping that the um, Chai Level Tag would actually go inside the journal, um, but as per usual, it was getting rather chunky and it just it wasn't going to work. So that will just come alongside the journal for, you know, a little something extra for whoever purchases this. Um, it will be listed in my Etsy shop by the time the video uploads. So let's go ahead and uh, dive right in. So for the cover and the back cover, um, I used two layers of um, tea dyed cardstock. And then I printed out, oh, I forgot, I used this too. <laughs> this is her um, floral tear sheets. I can't remember what they're called. I'm so sorry, Nikki, but it will be linked below. Um, anyway, I used two of those pages um, for the front and the back cover. And I'll show you the back cover first because it's easier to kind of show you what I did. I zigzag stitched around all the little um, pieces that make up the collage sheet. So it looks like it's been, um, like each individual piece has been sewn together, but it has not. It's just one printed page. And then I just did the stitching to kind of give it some, you know, some depth. And um, yeah, so that's what I did on the front and the back. The front one has the, has some of the flowers. And then on top of that, I layered some green masking paper, um, some cheesecloth, and then one of the journal cards. I think this is from the In Full Bloom. And then I added um, some, just some little, uh, some flowers. And then on both the front and the back, just to give it some more kind of um, stability, I used some vintage um, bias tape and wrapped it around the edge and then sewed it, sewed it on there. Just, you know, just for some more um, stability, you know, for the rings, you know, um, words are escaping me as usual. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> so that is the front and the back cover. Um, I used a little uh, Tim Holtz hitch post here for the closure and all you have to do is push down and then that loop just comes right off. And then um, when you're ready to close it up, you just push it down again and put the loop on like that. And then you don't have to untie the bow or anything. I love, I love this. Um, I've seen, let's see, Dee Dee has done it. I know a lot of people have done it, I, but I've seen Dee Dee and I've seen Nikki do it recently. Um, I'll show you the tri-level tag in a minute. Let's go through the journal first. There are approximately 48, no, Oh goodness, I counted 68 pages front and back, I believe, but it'll be in the Etsy listing. I did actually count. Oh, and it's eight and a quarter tall by about five and a quarter wide. 
and the um, the rings I used were the one inch rings. So here we have, this was something that I made in a three and 30 challenge. Um, and this just flips out here. And then you have a time card as a tuck spot for one of the lovely journaling cards. And I backed all of the cards with, or all of the pieces with one of the background pages from one of the kits. I can't remember now which, which is which. Um, there are some Tracy Fox pieces along the way. This is a Tracy Fox. And then inside the little bag is another one of Nikki's journaling cards. And then we've got these, I love, I love the pages in this kit. So the fronts are the in full bloom. And then on the backs are the dainty roses. And I hope, um, yeah, let me pause for just a second and fix, fix that shadow issue. Just a second. Okay, I think that's better. Sorry about that. I'm working with the morning sun and it is coming right in the window where I'm sitting, which is lovely because it's nice and warm and it's been raining for a couple days. So I'm loving the sun, but it tends to uh, create some shadows. So I'll try to keep an eye on that as we're going through here. But anyway, so you've got the Dainty Rose kit on the backs of the pages. So these are just absolutely lovely. Got some avocado dyed paper here. And then I created paper clips, um, snake, the snag free hidden paper clips out of the banners that are in the in full bloom kit. And then you've got a tag here from one of the kits. This is a book page, a vintage book page. And I just, I folded it so I wouldn't have to cut it. And that it does, I, I'm just all thumbs. It does slide on very easily. <laughs> it's just that, uh, yeah, my hands don't do anything easily. Uh, so I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you had a good weekend. Oh, I love, I love the images. This one is flipped around. So this is the Dainty Roses and then this is the In Full Bloom. There are also three of these large um, envelopes that I attached um, time cards to. I just folded them in half um, just to give it so you, I wouldn't have to punch the holes in the actual envelope. Um, you've got a pocket here which with a bunch of little pieces from the kits. And then inside each of the envelopes, I added one of Dee Dee's gorgeous um, writ dyed time cards, and then I just kind of decorated the bottom a little bit. This is uh, this comes in, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the Dainty Roses kit, and then I just layered some um, vintage little, I think this is from a wedding dress, and then just some sorry silk back behind there, and I rounded the corners on those. And then on the back, this was another piece that I did in a three and 30 challenge. So this is all Tracy Fox here. Um, in the bag, you have two little journaling cards from Nikki's Kits. And then it is just a little mini journal with some papers inside. And then it's all glued down. And then this is one of Nikki's postage stamps. I love these, they are so fun to decorate with. And she has a couple different styles. And then in this pocket, um, you've got a large journaling card and a super long skinny tag. I can't even fit it all in frame. And I just added Sorry Silk to the top of that and it kind of sticks out the top. So you've got some floofiness. And then this was something else that I made in a three and 30, um, just with uh, some book page. And then you've got a tag here and I added some avocado paper to the back to write on. Got some pink sari silk at the top there. And then I added three of Nikki's little um, flower fussy cuts from the kit. 
And then this one is actually like dimensional. And then I turned it into a tuck spot as well. And you've got um, a tag and a little journaling card. And another paper clip with a journaling card. And this is another one of the um, vintage book pages. And then I tucked one of the envelopes from the kit under there and inside. I just took a piece of um, paper and added uh, one of the stamps to the front. So you just have some journaling space there. And then that just easily slides in there. I love the colors in this. So pretty. And the rose on the back, this is the faded. I love that. The combination just suited me very well I, with the bright colors and then the, the faded muted colors. Very pretty, I love it. <laughs> Again, we have one of the pockets from the kit, a bunch of little pieces inside, little tickets. And then the same thing inside um, the envelope. Get everything back in there. And they're all just slightly different colors, I believe. And then obviously, you know, the, the, little, the little decoration is different on each one as well. And on the back of this one, I just added one of the, the cards um, that I had left over and just decorated the back of the envelope a little bit. Gorgeous pages, lots of writing space in here. And then this, oh, I love this so much. Look at how pretty this is. My amazing friend Amy at Glamping Bear and then Glamping and Glitter on Etsy. I will link both of those below. Makes these gorgeous um, ribbon embroidered pieces. And I just glued it on two sides and made it into a tuck spot. I'm, oh, I don't want to part with it. I love it so, so very much. Um, Amy, if you're watching, oh, I will be, I will be getting more of those for sure. Um, this was a piece that I made in a three and 30 chat or no, no, I think I made this. Did I make this? No, I think it was a three and 30. Oh, I can't remember now. Anyway, <laughs> um, it just, it had some flower napkin on it, so I thought it went well. Um, this is a tag from the kit, and this is one of those peculiar word cards. I love these because they're just, you know, they're words that you probably have never heard of before, but the definitions, you know, are obviously something um, nature related. So those make an appearance throughout here. Oh, I just love this so much. <laughs> and then on the back, we have another pocket from the kit. And then this is from the In Full Bloom. A little postcard. Another crazy word. This one is Swedish. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but I love the meaning. A small remote place where wild strawberries grow. Like, how cool is that? That's like my favorite word, but I, I can't pronounce it. So, uh, you know, that's fine. <laughs> Another long skinny tag with some sari silk at the top. And those just all fit in here. And then I love this page with the, the keyhole. Another paper clip and underneath that is another postcard from the kit. Another vintage book page. I think it's, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Sorry, I meant to pull that off the shelf. It's a crazy morning. Hmm. This page is, is one of my favorites as well because of the purple. I love that. Some more avocado dyed paper, gorgeous pages, another little pocket here with some, I love these little itty bitty baby tags too. Super cute, Nikki. Nikki does an amazing job creating pieces. For her kits. I could have gone completely overboard with this, but the luckily I, I bound it before I started decorating. <laughs> I was at least um I was at least smart that way and prepared <laughs> so that I wouldn't make it too chunky. I love this um this image here. So pretty. 
and Dee Dee's time cards. I will, I'm not sure if she has those in her shop right now, but regardless, I will link Dee Dee's shop as well. Um, so you can go and check out. I know she, she did have some dyed paper packs and stuff in there at one point. And then here is a piece, another piece that I made in a three and 30 challenge. So you've got some more at that, during that challenge, I was using Tracy Fox's, um, kits. So I will try to remember what they're called and link those below. Um, but in the back, I just have a large journaling card from the Dainty Roses kit. And then in, you've got a pocket up here. Let me take everything out so you can kind of see what this is. It's a long glassine bag that I folded up, sewed, and made multiple um, pockets out of. So you've got one up here, and this is Tracy Fox. One here, and then you've got the opening here, and then it's also a tuck spot. And then, um, let's see, you've got, this is one of my favorite words in the world, petrichor. I learned this word on Doctor Who. It is the smell of the earth after rain has fallen. I love that word, petrichor. It's just, I don't know, it's just fancy and pretty. <laughs> and then I created uh, just two little, I just folded these pieces in half um, and then stapled a piece of sari silk to the top so you could open it up and write inside. And it's just, I just have two of those. So one in the top here, if I can manage it on camera. That's always, always a um, problem. Okay, hold on. Let's put this one back here and then <laughs> let's see if I can figure it out. It's not difficult. It's just difficult when you can't get your head over top of it. There we go. And actually, I think I had it There we go. Okay. All right. Moving on. This gorgeous image here. And then this was another piece. Um, I used up a bunch of pieces that I had made in 3 and 30 challenges. So inside the little glassine bag, you have one of the cards from the Dainty Roses kit. And then you've got, um, this is Tracy Fox. This is Tracy Fox. Uh, this I got in Happy Mail. And then this is a just a butterfly. And then I made this whole thing um, a pocket as well. And this these glassine um, like envelope bag things, I got it Tuesday morning a while ago, but you've got a Dainty Rose journaling card in the back or in the pocket. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but that's okay. And then this is one of the pieces from the kit that I turned into a side tuck. And then you've got another journaling card here and a couple of the tags from the Dainty Roses kit. And um, I have no idea when I made this, I can't remember, but it's one of the um, vintage game cards that I have in my shop. And then I just um, decoupaged a flower napkin on top and then sewed around the whole thing. Why I can't remember when I made those, um, is escaping me, but that's okay. Um, I just put one of the little quotes here from the kit and some cheesecloth um, on that page. Another paper clip and another journaling card. And then this vintage book page and then another one of the envelopes. And again, I just um, created a little you know, I just took a piece of paper, colored paper, and added one of the stamps to that. And then this is the large envelope that comes in the kit, and I just have it attached um, with the spiral. Or actually, it's not attached. I'm sorry. I, I It's an envelope, but I did something different with it, and I forgot. So it, I turned it into like a flip out here, and I glued down these two sides and made this a tuck. So you've got um, a tag, a couple tags here, and a couple other little ephemera pieces from the kits. And that tucks in there. And then on the other side, I glued just these two sides and made another side tuck. And there are these fat tags. I love these. So cool. And then another journaling card. 
and those just tuck in there. And then um, one of the postage stamps and just some fibers here. And then um, this is just held down with the spiral paper clip. Oops. Well, it is if you know how to, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love this page too. This is one of my favorites. All right, we're almost to the end here. Look at how pretty that is. And then this is the back cover. Um, so this was another three and 30 piece and I just added one of the postage stamps and some sari silk to this. And then this flips out and you have, um, this was, I don't know what this was from. I can't remember now, but it's just a guest check. And so then it's just a little tuck spot for a couple large journaling cards and another um, one of those peculiar word cards. And there, and that's it guys. So let me know what you think of the cinch. Oh, I've got to show you the um, the tri-level tag really quick. But yeah, let me know what you think of the cinch journal. Um, I can do a tutorial on it if you're interested. Just let me know. I love Nikki's um, tri-level tags. I think they are so sweet. Um, I kept this one fairly um, flat because, I, like I said, I was hoping that I would be able to fit it inside um, the journal, but that wasn't gonna happen. So you've got a couple tags here and a little card, and those just slide in. Uh, let's see if I can do it all in one. Oh, isn't it fun to watch me struggle on a Monday morning? Like, all right. <laughs> Come on. All right, there we go. And then this side, we have a couple just rounded tags and they're all backed with um, the backing sheet that comes with the, the kit. All right, come on. All right, and then you've got this large belly band here and underneath is a little um, booklet that I created with some avocado dyed paper. I just added some cheesecloth and um, Sorry, silk at the top and I folded it over and just stapled it there. And then this is a little coin envelope and that just has a journaling card inside. So yeah, that's it. I didn't, like I said, I didn't over embellish this. Um, so you could add to it if you wanted to or just leave it as is, but then it just folds up and it's so pretty. And I've got a sorry silk closure here. And that's it. I love. I didn't want to cover this up because it's so pretty. She has this satin ribbon, um, you know, like image already on there, but I had to cover it up. But I think that was a very clever idea. Um, it makes it, I don't know, it makes it really pretty. Just adds something. I love bows and satin and all that because I'm a girly girl. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you like this. Um, like I said, it will be listed um, in my Etsy shop by the time this video uploads. You can go and check that out. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Nick and I will do um, at least one more video while he's here. Um, I have some other, some other ideas in the works. Um, yeah, I'm just... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep going. Um, I will be listing some more um, items in my shop as well. I've got some more vintage ephemera and I'm working on some more fabric ruffles because I realized that my shop was almost empty of fabric ruffles um, and I can't let that happen. So yeah, you will see that coming up um, if you um, get notifications from my Etsy shop at least or you can just go and check that out. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous Monday and I will be back soon. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and take care of yourselves, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.